Welcome to what I am calling, in such a clever fashion, the bathtub hall, part one. Uh, you'll see why right after this. Hi, beautiful humans. I am Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper, and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark mainly, but also eBay, Relove, and Depop. And if you saw my last video where I limited myself to five fab finds, I'll link that here for each current trip to the thrift, uh, you also saw why. So you saw the bathtub at the parents' house that is filled with all of the things that I've sourced that I have no idea what is in these boxes and bags and they have been hidden behind a curtain, literally. So I'm gonna start pulling some things out. So let's take a look and I'm gonna go down and grab a couple things right now. <clears throat> All right, we started taking a look at this last time. So I have no idea what's in any of these, if there's good stuff. So we're just gonna grab a box or two and take it upstairs and see what we find to list and resell online for profit. We hope. See you in a minute. Okay, so that first box was just a box of belts that I have sourced that mom takes pictures of. She has set herself up a little station where she does shoes and things like accessories because she has that all set up downstairs and it's pretty easy for her to do while sitting down. And I do all of the clothes and such up here. We're still working on hard goods, but so I left that box there, I grabbed a box and an Ikea bag and I have no idea what is in them. Though by the looks of the Ikea bag, this should have been listed months ago. And the box I can tell is from a rummage sale at a local church that I went to. And so we're gonna start with the box. I'm not sure exactly where I got the bag of Ikea stuff. And I'm hoping it's not a mix up of stuff that you've already seen, cause that would be awkward, but I don't think so. Usually if I've hauled this stuff here for the people, that's you, cause you're the awesome people. Thank you, by the way, so much for joining me despite my crazy life. Oh, anyway, let's just get into this and see what the heck I bought to resell so that I can get it listed. Now this first thing is this vintage, really good size, Kelly Hansen windbreaker and I should have purchased both of them. What size are you? Um, so this is at a church rummage sale and literally the price was so cheap for everything there. I think I got a leather jacket for 50 cents, which I don't think is in this box because it'd take up too much space. So this is a size extra, extra large men's uh, this is Helly Hansen Norway. Helly Hansen's like a boarding, uh, ski kind of a little hipster brand, I believe. I knew the name, so I wanted to pick this up, but they were filthy. So I only grabbed one of them um, and popped it in the wash and it looks so darn good. I wish I had purchased the other one. <laughs> um, but I believe this one is vintage. There is still some dirt that you can see on, this is the, um, what is that called? The like iron on kind of thing. This is a little rubbery, so it's not as clean as the rip stop guy. Anyway, I got that. That was a good thing. I really wish I'd gotten the other one. I was like, no, it's so dirty. I'll just grab one. What was I thinking? All right. I don't know what else is in this box. Let's see. I wish I, I don't have my little table, so I got to bend over and then the seat and then you are there and I'm down here. And this is just awkward. Hello. Peekaboo. All right, that's, oh, so silly of me. Ooh, this is cute. So this is just a cute little peplum top with some embellished detail on the shoulders. What are you? And are you vintage? Are you not vintage? You are love culture. I don't know if I've heard of that. Feels kind of junior-y to me, but let me see if there's anything else down here. Are we made in the USA? We are made in the USA, so it's vintage. It's a size large. It's really cute. Uh, I'll have to look up the brand, but my guess is I'll probably list it for 27 and it'll sell somewhere unless it's like some amazing brand that I don't know about, but I just love the little details. Those are in good shape, the beading and sequins and rhinestones. I mean, all of the things. Um, 
that's super cute. But unless it's some brand that, you know, sells for $700 and has a really good comp, I'm probably listing that at 27. The Helly Hansen, I'm not sure because I haven't looked up that brand before and it's not something I normally sell. Well, I'm coming back down here. And hello, I'm back again. What do we have here? This is, I feel like this is, hmm, this is a thing. Looks like there's another one. Did I show, I don't feel like, I don't know. I don't think you've seen these before. It's a wall hanging with no real place to hang it. There's this little stringy part in the middle. There's a camel. There's a oasis. And it looks like there's another one. Hold on, let me grab this. Ooh, this one's longer. I wonder if these were all originally a piece. Hold on, okay, I don't wanna rip this. Uh, so we got another oasis. We got another camel. And then we got some mountains. So there's two pieces. Oh, hello. That's awkward. These things are supposed to stay in place, you know. So there's one that's two and one that's three, and I'm not sure what they are, but they're kind of fab. They feel woolish. They're woven. I bought them at the rummage sale. <coughs> All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, this is bright. What are you? You feel... Jam's World. You were not Jam's World at all. Oh, you're cute. I, I think I got you for me. This is just a really cute Lane Bryant size 1820. It's kind of got some burnout. It's got some sparkly things here, but it's so fun. You know I gotta wear that. I don't think this is... I guess it's all right. It's a little worn, so it's probably something I got to wear for me uh, in case I start filming my garden videos again. This would be great for that or just to wear, cause it's party colors and look perky on me. I'm not a huge fan of these like bedazzly things, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, it's a cute shirt. All right, what are you? You are a thing. You are a J. Jill, size medium petite. I believe you're probably linen. Let me find a tag here. You are 100% linen and you are a cute little jacket. Again, it's got the, pe I love a good peplum and apparently everywhere I shop, people love the peplums. Uh, I know right now that single button oversized kind of boyfriendy jackets are a little more in, but there are people that will always love a peplum and my guess is these will be back in style by next fall. If not, like next spring. Um, I, need, I need to wash you, she's stinky been sitting around in the bathtub for a few months. Let's see, are you, can I wash you? I can wash you. Okay, get in the washy pile. Washy pile! So, so many things. Anyway, I was gonna try and be all creative and do another video and then I just lamed out and did a haul. Um, there we go. So this is just an Erica. Uh, a linen blend. That's a cute shirt. Erica is a fairly classic brand. I feel like there's a weird shadow here. It's a different time of day than I normally film, so we got some weird light going on. I got the shadows and the things. I wonder if I pump this up, if that'll help. Then I'm just gonna be really bright. Ooh, I am really bright. I don't know. I don't know if that's better. Uh, this is not a vintage Erica. It's just a nice shirt. Again, she's pretty classic. You can be washed. Easy care, people do like the brand. Fairly good quality, what are you? You are, ooh, you're sassy. What are you, what are you? Aria, made in India, 100% cotton. Uh, so this is just a really cute little eyelet trimmed, like camisole, oh, isn't that romantic? So very romantic. The whole romantic thing is still in, we're heading into festival season which apparently means people who have lots of money and way too much time on their hands spend lots of money on clothing and try to dress as if they're interesting. Did I say that? <clears throat> anyway, not to be... It's very nice. Go have a fun festival. This is a great shirt for it. You should wear it. Uh, that's cute. And this is very much kind of a creamy tan. A, a bisque, if you will. Biscuit colorway you can talk about. What is this? So many, where did I, I this was a good sale. Uh, so this is a Lucy Cellini, California. This is vintage and gorgeous. What are you? 
A uh, hand wash, hmm, squeeze lightly. So let me show you this. So this is super like goth, Wednesday Adams chic. I don't know, Beetlejuice. So it's kind of like, look at that lace and then the lace sleeves. It's kind of like a gunny sack dress, but it's very thin polyester. So it's got this ruffle at the bottom. Um, kind of like a Victorian morning dress, I guess. Something you would wear to mourn in, in the Victorian era. It's got this gigantic hook and eye. There is a little tear right here at the neck because that is super, can you see, there we go. Super thin fabric. I'm gonna stitch that up right there. That won't be an issue but it is delicate. And then it has this gigantic hook and eye here. So I'm sure that does some to weigh down the fabric. Oh my gosh, can I even get that in there? Oh, I can't get that. <laughs> no need to struggle. It just went right in. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Think about that with some cute Doc Martens. Oof, so love. I would have worn this dancing in a heartbeat, heartbeat. Let's see, what are you? You are also a tanky top. You are from... Lauren Conrad, size medium. Uh, Lauren Conrad, I've, I keep looking up the brand and I bought a pair of shoes that I'm actually, oh, it's new with tags. Ooh, what do you say? You are originally $40, Kohl's. Oh, see, look, Kohl's $40, but look at how cute that little thing is. Those pleats are fabulous with that applique. This is so gorgeous. And this, this whole neutral thing is very on trend, the neutral on neutral on neutral. It is not a style that's ever been good for me. It does not look, I mean, not good. Um, it's just boring for me. But some people look so gorgeous and I'm like, ooh, how do you do that? I can't do it. It, it just doesn't fit me. You don't smell, which is good because you are brand new. All right, what are you? You are, oh, Christopher Banks. Uh, Christopher Banks you can find tons of, and they're fairly pricey in this store, but they also have some really interesting, just super sweet pieces. Look at the sheer embroidered with the kind of eyelet lace here. It does have a banded bottom, a banded bottom. Oh, that's pretty. That would be so cute with a little 90s skirt, which are still in for spring. And of course you can be washed, so it will be washed. All right, what else is in here? This is fun. So yeah, I do, it's awkward when you buy the things and you don't remember. This is vintage Pierre Cardin, uh, size large. I'm assuming male, maybe not, maybe female. Uh, just a little zip up track jacket. Is that a spot? No, it's a, I mean, it's a thing, but it's not a spot. So it does have some pilling, really cute. Wash by machine. Lay flat to dry. Hmm. Pierre Cardin shall lay that flat to dry. What else have we got? Oh, peekaboo, we're back again. What is this? What is this goodness? You look interesting. Someone had some, ooh, you're sassy. Look at this thing. What is this? Does it have a tag? Did someone make this? I feel like someone made this. You smell though. This is like a, this is like my size. It's like a Victorian lace shaped, it would be a jacket. So in the Victorian times, it wouldn't be sheer. It would be lined and lined and so lined and very structured, but this is flowy and loose and it's got kind of a burnout velvet and almost a bronze. I don't know if I can wash you though. I feel like this is handmade. There are no tags. The seams, so one reason I think it's handmade just is because of the seaming. So these are very uneven. Um, in the cutting. So on the seams, they aren't ironed flat, which does happen in modern clothing. I mean, modern clothing is not made that terribly well. Um, it doesn't have a great hand, a lot of it. It's cheap fabric. But, so just the, can, I don't know if you can see how that's cut. Usually they're cut a little more evenly than that. So this feels, oh, you stinky. It's cute buttons. I guess I'm gonna hand wash this and hang it to dry and see how she does. She does have some little dusty stuff down here, but she cute. You know I love that. Oh, 
so cute. And yeah, see this right here is just awkward. Um, that's just poorly done. And someone, did they stitch that in? Yeah, someone stitched the, <laughs> this is handmade, but we're gonna wash her and see how she does. Cause she's cute. What are you? You're fancy. You are vintage, I think. Rosy tomato, size 2224, made in Bangladesh. You're fancy. Um, this is fun. So just kind of like a fun little pop over very bright kind of boho shirt. This would look super cute tucked into mom jeans. Um, this whole wallpaper like bright 70s kind of vibe is in right now. For spring, it's supposed to be coming in. Again, I say if a trend works for you and you love it, add a few pieces to your closet, but please do not be a slave to trends. I need to do like a whole fashion industry rant at some point. If you're interested in that, I'll put a poll up here. Do you wanna hear a fashion industry rant at some point? Preferably while showing you other clothes. We'll see about that. Um, anyway, super cute. <clears throat> a long tunic. I'm gonna have to try that on and wear it just for fun. You know, I love me some color. Those aren't my best colors though, but I might make a sacrifice just to try it out. What is this? Now, the problem is this, ooh, this is Charlotte Russe, size large. But look at the cuteness of this vest. So it's a little vest. Vests are also on trend for spring. Of course, I bought this, I don't know how long ago. It's like a little kind of almost safari style. I feel like everything is getting a weird shadow, like right here. So it looks yellowy to you, at least from what I can see without my glasses on. Uh, Cause you know, I don't want to put in context. It zips up and then buttons. This is cute. And Charlotte Russe is out of business, so doesn't make this make this rare and more expensive? And I think this is a pin that's been put on. Yeah, so there's a pin here. Which is missing some jewels. I don't know if I'll leave it there or take it off. We'll see how I feel. That needs washed. All right, I should probably be talking faster because I have a whole Ikea bag to go, but I'm just like, hey, let's sit down and talk with Kirsten and Pam and... Jet and all the people, Alicia. All right, this is vintage notations. Um, just a banded bottom little blouse. So made in the USA notations. They still make today, I believe. Um, kind of a medium range brand. <clears throat> but this will probably list again around 27. Expect to sell it for 18 to 23, depending on who's in the mood for a banded bottom. Me, not such a fan of the banded bottom, but you know. Some people look super cute in it, and on me, it just kind of rides up funny. You know how that goes. All right, we got a couple more things in this box. And I know that somewhere in that pile of stuff, there's at least three, four more bags from this sale because I got so much stuff. But like I said, I'm just grabbing what's there on top and we're seeing what's going on. I feel like this, this is Ivy Ridge. What's Ivy Ridge? Is that a thing? It doesn't have a size tag, unfortunately, but it is this really, really kind of nice cowl neck, rounded front, that, well, the, cow, the neck is, mm, hold on. Cowl neck, let me see if I can hold that so it looks better. There we go little cowl neck kind of shimmer in browns and tans. Chocolate, some gray with a silver shot fabric. Uh, that's just a cute little top. Are we a dolman sleeve? Kind of a dolman. Not a like gigantic dolman. I don't know, do we have care tags in you? So this one's cute. It's got some ruching on the side, which I just discovered when I'm trying to look for a tag that tells me how I can care for it. I'll wash it, see what happens. Ooh, this is fun. What are you? You're vintage. You are Belvedere, says medium made in Taiwan. Um, this color blocking killed me. That's why I grabbed this one. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So fab. There is some staining on the white here. So I'll do my best to get that out. Otherwise it's in pretty darn good condition. The navy is faded, 
more than the other colors. But I'll still sell it. Even if this doesn't fully come out, I'll just disclose it and still sell it because this is fab. So I'm probably gonna say something like dad style. Uh, this is not a dad sweatshirt. It's too small, it's a medium women's. But I'll say like dad style sweatshirt, um, pullover, something like that. Again, probably list it. If I can get the stain out, I'll list it higher. And of course I'll check comps to double check and make sure, uh, but and we'll see how that goes. All right, what are we at? Uh -oh. We'll see how much of this bag we do. We may just do it all. We'll see how we feel. All right, so this, I feel like this was something I showed you, but maybe I just showed mom because this is a quilted Christmas little jacket that should have been listed for Christmas. It's got bedazzling. It's got covered buttons. It's so cute. It's got sweatshirt arms. I feel like I've told you this before, but I don't know. Like I said, usually if I haul stuff, it's not, it wouldn't be downstairs because I do all the hauls up here and then I list the stuff. So I don't know. I'm going to try and wash that. It needs washed. All right. What else have we got here? Oh, this is fun. This is a Lulu's size medium. It is, where do we go? It is new with tags. I feel like you've seen this. If you have, and I'm just not having deja vu, I mean, you know, one bag of cool clothes that I want to sell kind of runs into another after a minute. Um, but this is kind of a really lightweight navy. I need to get this listed right now. Uh, overcoat. Snap closure, super cute. And what size did I say you were? You're medium. Nice, that's nice, that needs to get listed. Toot sweet. No, I feel like you've seen this. Have I seen this? Have I showed this to you? Maybe not, maybe I've gotten more than one of the same things. So this is a vintage Briggs, New York. Uh, just a really cute skirt. Again, would have been good for Christmas, which is why I feel like We've talked about this before. I'm just gonna keep saying that as I pull one of these things out of this. I could go back and watch all of my haul videos, but ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh. I mean, I like watching other people's haul videos, but my own, really? That's just weird. You're a skirt. You are vintage, made in the USA. Oh, how pretty is this gonna be for spring on someone? It's very long and flowy. Uh, it's got a slight flare, so kind of an A-line. Oh, so pretty. I don't know if you can see that's like a green and purple. Can I wash you? I want to wash you. Tell me I can wash you, please. I'm sure I can cut, oh! Dry clean only. But it's polyester, so I'm gonna wash it anyway. Yeah. Again, you have to take your own risk and stuff, but stuff like this, I'm not gonna pay to have this dry cleaned. And most people, and actually doesn't smell that bad. I could just send it out as it is, give it a really good steam to kind of disinfect it. But I do like to wash things before I package them, just I feel better. All right, what else have we got here? I may not go through this whole bag because it's a big bag and that'll take forever. And there are the people who don't like to spend the time. They want to run. I feel like we've talked about this. So this is a Brandon Thomas. It's a leather little jacket. I feel like I have another one of these, but it's this really cute, lightweight, tan suede jacket. That's nice for spring. Does have some distressing just from being worn a little bit along the edges here. Otherwise it seems to be in pretty good shape. It is not vintage. I've looked up that brand before, but I don't know why. That's all I can tell you. That's not very helpful, is it? No, no, not so much. All right, I've got a new, ooh, you're cute. So this is vintage, I guess, is it vintage dead stock? I don't know, is it dead stock or is it just old stock? New old stock? Uh, what were you from? So this is a Sag Harbor, it's a 12 petite, sorry. It's this really nice charcoal gray uh, single button blazer. And again, the blazers that are very on trend right now are the oversized single button blazers. I'm gonna pick up any blazer I like because I think they look cute. I have a whole closet full of blazers that I never wear. I mean, not a whole closet, but like a section of my closet that I need to sell. They're all vintage mostly because I've had them for a long time. But I really 
really like them. I just don't wear them. Mostly because I get too hot. You know what I'm saying? I get hot. Today, I am apparently in a mood. Anyway, this is really cute. It is new with tags, but it's new old stock, I guess. So that's cute. Oh. And it is made in Mexico, so it's not like made in the USA. So this is probably 90s, is my guess. 90s. What else have we got in here? Another blazer, Ingenuity, made in Canada. I don't know about that brand. Ooh, that's, ooh, you're new with tags too. And you are, again, a nice oversized single. So this says size 14. Um, well, it's a really nice blazer. Are you single or two? I think you're two button. No? Yes, no. Oh, just one, because it has this little thing. So this is like a, a tan and brown herringbone. You can see that? That's a really nice blazer. That's new with tags. Apparently I found some good blazers whilst I was outsourcing and don't remember where I got this one. The other one I know is from that rummage sale. This, this bag I'm not sure about. Oh look, it's a duck tie. It's a Brooks Brothers quack quack tie. It's a nice mustard. Let me see, do I have stains on you? Ties. It's hard for me to pass up a cute tie, but ties really are just gonna sit for a while until the right person gets them or until you bundle them cheaply enough. So I don't pick up a lot of ties, but this was Brooks Brothers and it's silk and it has ducks. So I got it because of that reason, but I'm not sure that was a best buy. I would not recommend going out and buying all the ties you see. Uh, this is JM Collection Linen, which is why I bought it. This is this cute little petite jacket. So it's a petite four, um, but it's just this cute embroidered jacket. Really cute for spring. So cute with jeans, with the arms kind of zhuzhed up or with uh, some nice palazzo pants for work. It is not single button, so it's more of a boxy jacket. I, w I don't know. I don't know if embroidery is really leg and look. I don't know how to feel about that. But it's got more of that kind of boxy vibe. And can you be washed? Tell me you can be washed. It needs to be washed. Otherwise, it's gonna go in the freezer. Oh, it can be washed. Oh, I love washable linen. So nice. All right, what else have we got in here? Oh, you're fancy. What are you? You seem very, you're vintage. I can tell without looking at you. Oh, you're cachet. You are the vintage. Gosh, look at this cute little bolero style. Is that bolero? Bolero's more rounded. But look at it. It's it's like a cropped open front, like cropped tuxedo with the satin lapels. Oh my gosh. I found some good jackets. Dry clean only. Oh, you're so cute. Look at that thing. Adorable. Oh my gosh, with high-waisted jeans right now, how much of a look would that be with cute little black booties? So cute. All right, I'm gonna get that listed. I mean, I have to get everything listed, obviously, but still. Okay, this is going too long. Do I finish the bag? Do I not finish the bag? Ooh, my earring got. I love these earrings. I got them on Poshmark. But let's see, what else have we got in here? You are new with tags. You are a gown. Okay, holy buckets of what are you? You are Jeffrey and Dara, size 12 petite. Oh, this is, it has a chiffon train in the back. Not really a train, just like a tail. It's got some little peepholes in the back with bows. Oh my gosh. Do I feel like this is 80s or 90s? What are we saying? This is made in the USA. Huh. I don't know. It's got two slits in the front, one slit in the front. It's got slits. It's got a tail. It's got the open. I don't know about this, but it's new. Oh my gosh. There's so many things in this, in this here. Oh, there's an Ikea bag down there and I keep reaching for it. And I have bad hair today. So you're seeing all the frizz. This is a, just a J Jill. Cute little Cardi. Very much kind of a 
That could be a Mr. Rogers cardigan. I could put that in the details, even though it's not red. Are you cotton? You feel like you're a blend of something goodness. Cotton, acrylic, nylon, mostly cotton. So it's kind of, this would have been perfect for the pistachio trend. I think it's reading a little more tan, but it's definitely like a greenish kind of color. So that's nice. J. Jill. We got another blazer, shocker. So this is a Maggie McNaughton, size 20. This is made in Macau, so it is, I think, still vintage, but not sure. It's a two button. So this is just a very classic, good work blazer. I sell a lot of blazers and plus size blazers. I'm going to buy almost anything because this is a really nice blazer. Huh? That's a good blazer. Um, it was a really good feel to it. All right. What else have we got down here that you need to see before I go away? Oh, are you a dress? So this is Karen Stevens. <laughs> That's so the vintage. It is new with tag. So it's a size 14. Can you see that? Maybe not. Don't know. Kind of, sort of. Uh, Karen Stevens sold a lot here from where this, the era this was, when we had Myron Franks, which turned into Macy's out here. And Macy's took away all of our like good brands. But that goes over this. So 90s. Uh, just a cute little sheath dress, really pretty blue. And actually this blue is the Pantone color of the season. So it was, what was it? Pas, was it, pas, pa. it was hot coral for the fall winter. And I believe now it's this kind of electric-y blue. So I guess I should get that listed. Um, again, it's got, I'll use Pantone color of the year which I don't know, we've had more than one. So maybe it's of the season, not the year, but I'll use that. I'll use sheath dress. I'll use two piece set, vintage nineties, all of these things together. And we'll see who buys it. Let's see. Anything else down here that I should show you? There are, oh, you're pretty. What are you? You are mod, original price 69.90. So you are pretty, you're new with tag, you're so cute. Look at this cute little skirt. Polka dots. So it's kind of a creamy yellow with the black. It's got this cute open back. I wouldn't be surprised if it's juniors. What size, it says size small, so maybe it's not juniors, maybe it's just small, but it could be, I don't know, that's cute. Wherever I got this stuff, I like it. Ooh, are you silk? You are also Karen's, oh, Valerie Stevens, not Karen Stevens, Valerie, I wonder if they're related. Do you think Valerie and Karen are related? I don't know. So it's a size two, it is 100% silk, and it is just this really pretty V-neck. It's kind of got a fit and just a slight A-line flare. It kind of, hold on, let me see if I can do this here. Kind of comes down to just a little bit of a flirty skirt. Oh, you're so pretty. Now this is a good color on me. You see that? It's a good color. What do you think? Anyway, oh, uh, there's a, only a few more things. So this is a long video. I'm sorry for those of you who don't like the long videos. You've already stopped watching. So then that doesn't really matter, does it? Maybe. So if you are someone who like shorter videos, you can just push the mute and then go do your things and let the video keep running. Just saying. Apparently we have to get to 4,000 minutes of watch time or 4,000 hours of watch time before we can be monetized. And you have to have a thousand viewers, subscribers. I don't have a thousand subscribers. So I got plenty of time to build up the watch time. But if you want ever feel like helping a person out, just push play on a playlist and let it run on mute while you go do other things. This is a pair of size 14. I feel like there's probably, ooh, there's a jacket down there. So this is a suit. Uh, by, I don't know who it's by because it doesn't say there. It'll say in the jacket. So this is just a little pinstripe pair of pants, flat front, size 14. Um, I don't want to mess up the creases. Hold on. Last thing I want to do is have to iron in creases, mostly because I don't own an iron. I just have this steamer. 
I mean, I have had an iron in the past, but I never use them, ever. So using a steamer was very exciting for me. I quite enjoyed it. Those are wide leg. Ooh, they've got this nice cuff on the hem. Wide leg. Let's see what you go with. Cause I feel like this is a jacket that goes with you. Oh, Jones, New York. Classic. People look for the brand. It's well made. It fits well. So if you know the fit, you're going to look for it. That's a really cute suit. Well, do you have some smuts? You've got some smuts. I want to see if I take that to directly. The pockets are real pockets, but they haven't been unstitched yet. So it's got some schmutz, but it's almost new. Ah, lots of schmutz. I may have to take that one to the dry cleaner. So the dry cleaners are like, oh, I can't get it out. Oh, I can't get it out. I'm like, what's the point of bringing something to the dry cleaner if you can't get rid of smell and you can't get rid of stains? Why am I paying you? I don't know. All right, what else have we got here? Two more things. Well, there's more than two more things, but I think we're only doing two more things. We'll see, this is vintage. Uh, made in Canada. M collection. So this I'm going to list as a vintage 90s slip dress. I just listed a black slip dress two nights ago. Had 10 likes. Slip dresses are very in. This isn't officially a slip dress, but we're just going to go with it. It does have a tie. Um, it's floral. But I listed this black vintage slip dress. So cute, by the way. Two days ago, had about 10 likes and I'd sent out a couple like, you know, 20% off offers because I want to make some sales because, you know, sales mm, were good. And someone bought it outright yesterday for because I only had it listed for 25. If I'd wanted to keep it longer, this is, this is pretty. Uh, I could have listed it for higher, but I don't want to keep it longer. I wanted to move it. So I did it. All right, what are you? Your pink. Let's get some spring color and I think we'll be done. You feel like linen. You are linen, I bet you are. So this feels like linen. Oh, I remember this one because I did look up this. So this, I think, no, you came that way. Uh, this is Banana Republic, a linen dress. And someone may have sewn these on. They may have hemmed it. I think they did. I think they hemmed it, took a chunk of the fabric and made, I think that's what I thought when I looked this up. Um, which is awesome because frankly, strapless, so not comfy. Um, but this is so pretty, really cute linen dress. That's nice. All right, there's like four more things in there, but we're stopping now because I say so. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this haul. I know it's gonna take a minute to get through all of the bathtub haul. I'm not sure when I'll do them all. This I'm gonna get listed. Of course, I have all this stuff I have up in my house to keep listing, but I wanna start pulling stuff out of mom and dad's house so they can have their bathroom back. Plus it just feels weird having clothes sitting in the bathtub. It's a good place for them though. I mean, you know, no one uses that bathtub. It's extra storage, right? <sighs> all right, I'm gonna get to work now. Listing, washing doing all the things I need to do now that we have done the hauling. I hope everything is well with you, that you're out there making the world a better place, that you are having so much fun doing things to make the world more interesting for you, whether it's reselling, whether it's thrifting, whether it's just trying out something new. I hope that you are enjoying it, that you are being kind to everyone around you, especially yourself. That's a message I need to listen to sometimes too. Hmm and I will see you on Saturday. I don't know what we're doing on Saturday. Oh yeah, if you want to rant, I put the, a poll. Let me know in that poll thing that was back there if you would like to hear a rant about the fashion industry. If you don't want to hear a rant about the fashion industry, we will do something else. All right, I will see you later. Bye.